Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. Picking up right where we left off, playing Inscription yet again. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. All that stuff helps me grow the channel. Helps me keep doing what I enjoy, I guess. Perhaps it's, I guess. No, I do like doing it. That's part of why I'm still doing it. Because <laughs> I'm not making any money. I get like one view a video, but it's still fun. Perhaps it's time. So, Bones. Opossum. The resourceful opossum cost one or cost two bones. Okay, so it's kind of like a not really an infinite, but like that's kind of the great equalizer, I guess I'll say it like that. Where these cards, the bone cards, are like, well, you've lost a lot of cards, but if you have a bone card, you can get another card back in, no problem. It's good too that it's even in sacrifice that you'll get these cards as well. Ooh, that was kind of a misplay, actually. That's going to use those two tokens that I had over there. So now I'll be able to kill the Rattler and keep going forward. I could have put, oh fuck, I should have put down the wolf anyway, because that would got me more health or more teeth to get more uh, XP. But for now, I'm going to actually pause the video because I forgot I was going to bring you back in when I get back to the angler fight. So give me a second. Okay, so now I wanted to check and see because it was telling me that I can step away from this table now. <laughs> but I want to check and be sure that this card that we technically would have been able to get last time if it wasn't like a lock because of your progress type of thing. But here it is. The reason why we actually opened the safe last time. Oh, damn. Uh, anyways, the stunted wolf is more interesting to me right now because I've never seen it. Now, this is a little puzzle. I don't know how it works, but I have been able to finish two of them before. Just off of like some dumb luck type of shit. I'm not sure how they like match up or anything, but it is a good way to get cards. Here's the skink. And I'm going to wait to open those cards like the rest of them because you can't just kind of like keep filling with them until <clears throat> until you get them. But I'm going to I'm going to wait and see. I'm not even wait and see, but I'm just going to wait on those to see if I can get them in a higher level and see if those cards will come out better or if it's always going to be the same thing as before. But I do like the skink because of its ability. Grizzly bear will be strong to defend against those other grizzly bears we have to fight. I think this is a similar first picture that I got last time, but I do like the kind of helmet-y. It kind of looks like bolts on the side of the head, so that's also what I'm thinking about. But I, I fuck with this card, basically. I don't even want to see the last one. I want myself in my deck as much as I possibly can because... I'm a Leo and we're self-confident and fucking self-indulged or some shit like that. I don't care too much, but still it's funny. Yeah, this is looking like a little bit of a, a little bit of a problem, a little bit. I might actually lose this run, which would be disappointing because at this point, I'd probably just air this shit because I don't have, whoa, a moose buck. I have never seen this card before. The Regal Moose, the creature of the wild, makes make way for it. What the fuck is this sigil too? I've never seen it either. Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil's creature. And the way will wait, what? Will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. So it's gonna like drag a card around the board with it? I'm not really sure. I wanna take it just to see. We can make a card stronger here too, and I definitely wanna do that. Hopefully I'll be able to beat the Prospector. I think the prospect is probably gonna... <laughs> uh, no, it's not gonna be. Someone who would need more health. Now, this thing can't die, but I'm gonna be using it to bring out other creatures. This thing already has seven health. 
I feel like one of my bone boys is gonna need it because this dude's gonna be able to take more damage while also having reduced damage dealt to it. But the possum, possum's always gonna be dealing. I feel like now nah, I'm gonna do it. See how many, how much I can get done on one card because four health, undying, killing everything it hits, pretty powerful. As long as I can get the card out, actually, which is gonna be a bigger issue. I feel. Well, let's see if we can get the prospect and be able to wipe him out. We had a lot of bones, a lot of bones. But let's see what we got from beating the prospect. And now hopefully something good. I'm hoping for like an amalgamation or amalgamum. Strange larva. I want that bitch just so I can see what it turns into. Uriuli, Uriuli, strange larva and all these like weird mixed the cars mold man. All this shit is what's interesting me about this game because I don't know what they're finna do with all this weird shit. They're pulling in weird mystic stuff made, well, seemingly made up stuff. Maybe it's real and I just haven't heard of it yet, but there's a lot going on in this game. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. Oh, I remember this one, I think. A strange beast lurks, a strange beast lurked within. I spoke past one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Okay, I do remember this one, but it wasn't the original one I thought it was. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will dec decide your success or failure. Trial of damage, trial of bones, or trial of blood. A lot of my creatures need blood. At least all of them have at least one. A lot of them have, or a few of them have three. Some of them have two. But fuck, I don't know what my deck is right now. Everything deals at least one damage. So unless I pull all three cards that deal one damage, I'll be good. Cause if the if I pull like two one damage and a oh fuck, but I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm more likely to uh, so the damage is not the one I want to go for. But blood, let's see. That's two. That's not that's one. Why is it two? One, one. And I'm kind of fucked either way. I'm going to go for blood though. Bones is definitely the bad one and damage is just outmatched. I, I made it already. Cool. Great. I would have made it with these two alone. That one unnecessary. So I passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was okay. I can get a beehive that has the dive ability. I can get an undying river snapper or, or uh, um, endless sacrifice river snapper or an upgrading Warren. That's pretty cool. I like the eyes inside. Same with the beehive, actually. I didn't notice that at first. But I'm going to take the Warren instead because I don't like the dive ability because it means it plays no defense. And I also like this ability because I like to see what things turn into. So that'd be pretty good. Plus, it adds a rabbit to my hand, which I might be able to put down depending on what its uh stuff is. Now, I already have two teeth I can pull out. I want to see if I can upgrade a card, actually. Combi I don't think I have a Sigil I want to combine with anything right now. Something that I can add two health to. Let's add it to the rabbit one, actually. Fuck it. Because it itself won't do much. But with more health, that upgrade's going to be even crazier. Even if it upgrades to one damage, four health and one damage is pretty good. I'm going to get this strange lava down and see what it can do. They got the skink down maybe because it would come back to my hand, but oh well. Got spiders on the fucking table. Okay, hang on. Take a squirrel. A strange pupa, okay. Boost to the right before it takes damage. But all we have are bees coming at us right now. I'm hoping this fucking pupa turns into something good pretty fucking soon. Ooh, what the fuck is that? A Mothman, seven damage, three attack, fly over. That's solid. Is that a dub? That's almost a dub off of one card. They can't even, they can't even recover from that shit. Bro, that's great. 
Oh man, and Mothman too. The fucking the goat, the goat, the fucking legend himself. At least one of these fucking flyers out of here. This got. I was trying to say there's got to be a few left over at least. So, I've seen this before, but I don't remember what it is. So both of these two are suspicious about it. So it sounds like I'm going to lose a card. The bullfrog and the possum are both up to go. I like my bone cards because it is like a recovery. So I'm going to get rid of the bullfrog because I don't even think I've played it yet. Or not even get rid of it, but see what happens to the bullfrog. Let's say. All right, bullfrog got slaughtered. But he was pleased by my sacrifice. What is that? I know what it is. Minor boon of bones. Yup. Minor boon of the bone lord. I remember from when I first got it. So this is kind of something that repeats every time, I guess. But I just like the idea of minor boon of the bone lord. But I call, always call it a minor boon of bone. Because it sounds cool. Well, not even sounds cool. It sounds better to me that way. But we'll take it. Uh, I don't know what it does, though. Definitely increases something. And I don't know where to check it either, actually. We have quite a few bones right now, though. So that's not bad at all overall. And I want to try and find the trapper to see if I can get something better than I usually would get. Because this is the most, the most currency I've ever had before. Oh, fuck. Oh, I get the rat king. Or the pack rat, because my, I didn't read it, but you'll probably hear it still. I'll read it out loud. Pack rat, when it dies, it's going to give me equipment. The prudent pack rat, never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. I agree completely. When you play in D&D, you be... <laughs> if, you, if you play D&D and you get, like, stuck, you'll be looking at shit that you never even read in your book bag before. Talking about, well, can I use the crowbar to pry the door open? You didn't even think of that before. You was talking about picking locks. Now you got desperate because you failed all your... Your slide of hand shit so you can't even get it open. I did I never see that before though? I could have sword just started popping up. That thing's gonna deal one damage. Get a skink out. Start dealing some damage. Skink. Oh shit. Skink won't kill that. I should have saved the skink actually for the uh, ability to not die basically. Now, though, that thing's going to be blocking the space, so I should be safe. Get this down in two turns, it's going to start doing damage for me. That's going to block damage. And I'm only taking one, so I should be good. Actually, I've only taken zero now. Fuck, I forgot about that. Ugh. I'm gonna hold on to a bat and then. So now I'm dealing seven damage back to this hoe. So that should be enough to twist it, yeah, all the way back. Okay, so now I'm getting the fucking chum buckets, though. I have to choose the card first? Okay. Not bad. Overall, this is pretty good so far. Because I can put, use both of these squirrels to get everything else down. That's gonna go down over there. The opossum's gonna go down right there. So we should, I go fish. Fuck. Nah, fuck you, ho. Get out of here. 
And we got, ooh, we got hella extra too. Oh yeah, cause the fucking Mothman flies over. I forgot about that. This card's way stronger than I thought it was. Cause at first I was scared I was gonna take deal damage to that. And, oh, I gotta kill the shark after this turn. Nah, I flew over straight over. So flight against the angler is what I want to do then. Actually, I want to do flight against the angler in the case that it pulls out the chum buckets. But we already get past it, so now we're really gonna go for distance and see what we can get. And I, depending on how far we go, I might have to cut the earlier shit. That or Friday videos are just gonna be longer. Ooh, the Ouroboros. Uh, the Eternal Serpent Death strengthens it forever because it's eating itself like the fucking hot dogs out of a uh, uh, fucking regular show. The Prudent Pack Rat. Pack Rat's not bad. I already have one. I could duplicate them, though. Or not duplicate them, but there's a, one of the stops, I guess, allows you to combine two cards together. You consider one of the Angler's Catches as a meal, but the Rank Odor deters you. All right, so this is as far as I got in my first like four episodes and I got here in three episodes. So that's pretty good overall, but let's see what car we get first. We're gonna have to end up doing a trial no matter what. So we're gonna do our best, I guess. Turkey Vulture, three damage, three health, a flyover. Eight death though. Uh, I think for me personally, I think, but the, the mole would be a good defense. And when an empty space being, would be struck, a card bearing this sigil will move to that space to receive a strike instead. I'm gonna take this because if I compare that ability with a different card very well, then I have an even stronger defense card, or even I'll have a defense card that's gonna deal the damage back to the last person that attacked it, which would be even better now this card has two sigils i'm going to take both of those off because it has a similar sigil i believe what's the guard dog do when the opposing creature is placed up opposite to an empty space a card bearing this sigil will move to that empty space and it also deals one damage back as porcupine <sighs> something because it's gonna move to where an enemy was placed and deal damage back when it gets hit so something with high health that that's gotta be this one this is like the ultimate defense on this card now wherever you place a card wherever a card is gonna attack and if you hit this card all of those things are gonna do damage back to you so there's really no safety when if the mole's on the board it's gonna be playing like full-on defense no matter what if i can get the sigils off of that card that would be pretty good we got why is it giving him a moose buck now? Oh, I was trying to equalize it. I think because I have a good card, it's giving them a good card. That's what I think is happening here. So I can't fucking, I can't stop that for real. It's going to deal three damage. If I use this card, it's going to deal two instead. So it's gonna, that's going to kill that on its turn no matter what. I'll put the bunny here and I will put the skink, I don't know the skink, but the skunk here. Not even the skunk, the stink bug here to reduce the damage of this buck that's going to be incoming. And fuck, only one thing dealt damage. Great. Appreciate that. Now, if I wanted to, I could get everything and kill that. Let's just see what happens. Just, just see what happens. I feel like I'm going to lose like right now, though. Yeah, I'm just going to do three damage to me, though, but I'm going to do three damage damage back. So those moose bucks are going to cancel out. Never mind, but that's still fine. Well, fuck, I got five damage coming in next turn. So I'm going to lose next turn, actually, because I just misplayed by taking that card before I thought about that. I'm only going to lose a car or lose some air, right? Not air, but fuck it. I'm only going to blow out a card, but so I will be able to continue forward. 
do have this trial that I have to face, which still not too confident in my hand when it comes to trials, but if I can beat it, I will get a better card. Four damage, six health, or five bones. Four damage, I feel like... Actually, four damage at this point might not be too bad, but six health. Is six health better? How much stuff has one health? I have two cards with one health. So the health is going to be our best bet because basically what that's saying is no matter what, if I get, even if I do pull both cards with one health, if I pull another card, I'm going to pass a four. Hmm, two plus. Oh, fuck. But I have less cards. With, I'm going to take the health. All I have to do is not pull the only two cards. Oh, never mind. I'm fucking good. The moose buck covered it by itself. Let's get out of here. Let's see what we get. Oh, I've never seen that before. There's so. What is that? Oh, I might take that card just because I can't even see what its sigil is. Or field mice. What is that? Fucundity. When a card bringing this sigil is played, a copy of it is created in your hand. That's great. So I'd basically be able to endlessly put this card down. Same with the sigil on the wolf. I'd be able to use it for cover every time. But what is this saying? A value repeated number of something card counter. I kind of want to see what it does. Even if I can't see what it does this turn, hopefully it goes on a death card. Do I have anything good to sacrifice? What would I sacrifice? If anything, one of the pack rats probably. So let's see if I, but do I have a card's ability that I want to put on something else? I know. Oh, fuck. I wasn't able to do damage. I'm going to lose. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I shouldn't have said shit about not being able to beat the snow level, or at least this being the farthest, the farthest I've got. But this week I did record all of my videos back to back. So the two death cards that we made this time are both going to be named Batten. But if you watch any of these videos and you want to put down a cool name or you just got some shit you want to put in, I really don't give a fuck. As long as it's not too overtly inappropriate, I'll put it in. Or like a racial slur or like a slur at all. Let's just say if there's any slurs, I'm not putting them in. Otherwise, I don't care. Got another picture. Wait, no, let me make my death card first. And again, I do need to put in the, like <laughs> some like blinker warnings on these because this this little this little effect right here. I know you can turn it off, and I might. Hello, game. Unless the game crashed. If the game crashed, then you know how much I can do about it. Let me turn off the flickering just for like anybody who might be you know lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant. Mm -mm -mm. That little these mics hard lemonades really got some kick to them, huh? The harder lemonades. Nah, but if you got like epilepsy or some shit, I don't want you to be like seasoned out. Here's the camera. Fuck you, you dirty bitch. I, try, I just wanted to see you. Like, give me my card. I didn't even want to take that picture. You just made me do it. The cost? Always got to be one. One blood if I can. That way, if I get the card, I can put it out immediately. The power and health. The wolf's power and health is a good baseline. If I'm stuck with anything lower than that, that's not the worst, but you know, could be better. Get better over time and spawn a rabbit or attack in two places. And I assume get the amount of damage that the bones that you have bones in the graveyard. This card, if I'm understanding it correctly from the tentacle hand, from the tentacle, that's not like some Sidra type shit. Or the tentacle queen. I'll name this one because I don't want to keep naming them after myself. I'll name this one Lilo, like from Lilo and Stitch. And we'll we'll see what reaction that gets. One thing now remains. Let's capture a visage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm surprised all the good stuff helps me out the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Uh, in this, which I believe is the totem crafter, an ancient woman emerges from behind an oak tree. So this will let us choose which sigil we get. I'm going to take the insta kill sigil, right? Touch of death. Yeah, I'm taking that for sure. Doesn't matter what it goes to. I can really build towards it, but the wood carvers.
yeah so she's gonna show up again later and that's when we can set what faction we will be using uh and she just she's what allows us to make those totems so trying to get to her early game would actually help out here's that hook i was talking about it kind of just hangs down but i don't know if it counts as an item i guess i'll see later all right so we didn't make it to another wood carver but before i go to her, i want to see what faction i have most of and it's looking oh yeah for sure insect right now i have three of them i just picked up another insect card too so that's actually pretty good not the best card though because it doesn't deal damage but if I can mix these two cards together, maybe we'll get something good or we'll figure out a way to work it a little better. But hopefully it gives us an insect head. I don't think I've ever seen an insect. It's probably a mantis, but I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, never mind. It's a hornet. All right. Or a bee, I mean, probably. So now I have an insect totem, which is going to give all of my insects a insta kill. Great. Okay. Lovely. Let's see how far we can get now. Or maybe let's see if we can take advantage of this now. There it is. And that's how they're all going to appear too. And I think it flips every card when you pick it up. So it can get a little bit like, let's keep it moving type of uh, way, but it's still fine. I want to kill this as soon as possible because that's going to deal quite a bit of damage and it's moving around too <laughs> yeah because i'm trying to deal as much shut the f i don't know why i keep responding to this fucking stout i'm in charge here bitch you're the one who got captured and turned into a permanent card Yeah, great, because now it's not going to deal any damage this turn. And, oh, shit, and it insta-killed, too. I didn't even realize that. I wasn't paying it. I forgot all about the sigil or the uh, totem. So that's even better, actually. I mean, I think we're going to... We might win this turn. Now we're going to deal three damage, so... Not quite, but it's not... Excuse me, going to be able to recover from it. I have no reason to put down this ringworm for real, except for like defense, but it's not really defending anything, I guess. Ah, uh, no extras. I was hoping I would get, still get a few extras, but that's fine. Or at least, at least to get as many as I can before I get to the trapper so I can trade. I don't think I've ever, I don't know, I've seen this before. Oh, I guess I ran into the prospector early. Wait. But it's just if I can keep it. And I'm trying to see, are there any like differences in these cards for those little pebbles are different. This one has a different, like if you see that pebble, it's different than this one. It doesn't have that side piece sim on that one actually. So I'm gonna hit this one. Great, a corpse maggots. Dag nabbit, no good. No good. This is only too bad to me either, though. I don't know what that symbol does. Keep it. All right. What the fuck is that? If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing this sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. Great. Does everybody be beat the, the prospector? No problem. Do was kind of hella easy, especially with those insta kill cards. And the cards we managed to get down were pretty simple, straightforward. I actually, knowing that uh, hand and how it really works, especially its second face, makes it way easier. A long elk. This card is another one that changes, but I, I didn't pay attention when it changed last time. But these mystic cards are very interesting and good to keep an eye on. I absolutely have to take this strange larva though because I know it turns into a Mothman. Seven damage, it's gonna get the insta-kill buff. Uh, yeah, nah, that, it's, it's an easy pick there. Uh, 
lost my train of thought again oh the only way to find out is just to you know take it and figure it out oh i think it's based on the amount of bones that you have in your graveyard if i'm not mistaken you find yourself among a grove of thick and pungent mushrooms you squint to see a figure throughout a thick and cloud of spores we are the mycologist yes the mycologist a mushroom studier on this two yes. faces and we are performing our experiments far from, from, we are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes. We will need two of the same creatures, one for each of us. Okay, I don't think I have any duplicates. Oh, oh dear, you don't? You have no duplicate cards. T take one of ours. We will use the next time. Take one of their cards, they'll use it. Oh, so it's gonna offer me a duplicate of any of my cards? That's great. Ooh, that's really good, actually. Uh, I kinda wanna take this one just so I can have a super powered mystery card. But the wolf would be so good because I do believe it doubles health and damage and keeps the cost the same. So six, four with two, that's not bad. Not bad at all, but I kind of want to go with the mystery on this one. We'll try and win another time because I'm sure we'll die at some point soon. I can't get a single fucking bone monster. All right, well, I'm going to lose because all of my monsters were blood. And I was kind of needing some bones in there right now. All right, well, I guess that's going to be all for this video. Uh, see you on the next one.